The aim of this clip is to show you how to create dummy variables when you need to. This is just an example, so it's a very simple example. I've got one categorical variable with, here with five levels, as you can see. Uh, so we know in advance we need four dummy variables. We need to choose one level of the categorical variable uh, with which to compare the other four levels. And what I've done, I've labeled the variables in advance uh, to make it very clear what's going on. This, this dichotomous dummy variable is going to compare level 1 with level 2, this level 1 with level 3, level 1, level 4, level 1, level 5. And I'm just going to show you how you can manually um, fill these in if you, if you need to. There is a, a kind of automatic method which I'll demonstrate in a separate clip. Um, but actually it's quite easy to, with a small data set, to do this yourself. Well this one, comparing level 1 with level 2, is going to have zeros in every place except where there's level 2 where you put in a 1. And I'll just demonstrate how that goes. You can simply scan across there to the categorical variable and put a 0 except where you see a, n a number 2 and there you put a 1. So it's tedious but pretty mindless to go through and do all this. And level 1 with level 3, you simply put a 0 except where there's a value 3, the categorical variable. Unless you're careless and make a mistake, this is pretty simple. There was a 4 there in the categorical variable, so I've got a 1 and another 1 there. And you can imagine in a large data set, this very quickly ceases to be a load of fun. But in this one, it has the advantage of maybe demonstrating the principle behind this. The purpose of these dummy variables then is to compare in a way that SPSS will accept in multiple regression, to compare the first level with the other two, with the other, I should say, the other four levels. And I'm now going to demonstrate how that works with a, with a multiple regression. Well, if I put the categorical variable in here, if I were unwisely to do that, I would discover that there is no significant effect of the, of the categorical variable on the dv. But in fact, I know that this is not appropriate um, in regression. You cannot treat a multi-level categorical variable like a a linear independent variable. So I'm going to, instead of doing that, I'm going to put the separate dummy variables in. And what this shows is that, in fact, three out of the four dummy variables, the ones comparing level one with levels two, three, and four, that three of them are significant. You can see that, 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 and that is significant. It's only the one comparing level 1 with level 5, which is not significant. 